What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jay, and we made another one. Awesome day today. We're going to do our first market today. We also have another market to pick produce for for the youth program of MacDowell County, the MacDowell County Youth Producers Association. They're going to come and pick up some produce a little later on today. But these guys over here decided they would run their motorcycle through my field and run over my watermelon plants. So we had to do a little confrontation. It was all friendly, all good. They ruined two watermelon hills and ran over a few watermelons with their motorcycles. And we made it known that they are not to be back in there doing any of that. We put too much hard work into this for idiots to come in and ruin what we do. So, it started off a little bit of a rocky day. I'm just glad that Sky was here to handle it better than I would have handled it. But, no matters. We have contender beans to pick. We're going to pick out this entire crop. And, I'm going to cut this grass out later and replant sometime this week but um first we're going to go through and pick out all the contender beans that are available in here sky felicia myself and marshall are picking beans out of here which is pretty awesome we have quite a few beans in here to pick out and we're going to jump right into it. Marshall hasn't made it to the field yet, but he's on his way. And I have to take care of a little blood glucose. That's why you always see me popping up somewhere eating an orange or a banana or something super sweet. But it's all good and all okay. I know this looks like it's just a big patch of grass and weeds, but there are... 800 feet of contender bush beans in here and we're taking out every one of them just pulling up the plants throwing them on the ground we're going to replant we're going to do a double nitrogen crop in here and next year this field can be planted in something else anything else especially nitrogen loving plants we'll probably plant something more easy here less work possibly maybe a crop of corn or something anywhere you have beans is a good place to put corn or tomatoes or squash or anything that uses nitrogen so we're gonna pick out all the beans that we got here and see how far along we get with how many we've taken out it is exciting because this is going to be our very first market today on this day this wonderful day of August 20, August 8th, I'm pretty sure. August 8th is what it was. 2020, August 8th of 2020. There we are. That's the day we're looking for. So, we're almost done taking the beans out, guys. And later on, I'm going to come back in here and cut this out, hopefully get this grass cut out today there's a lot of other grass that needs cut in between the peppers and things like that too i got a lot of it cut in some of the previous video stuff and i still have a little bit to do we have a little bit more to cut out and then we will be all the way there so we're going to jump into it sometime today after we get the market out and all of those things we still have to take produce home and then we have to pick some mustard greens later on to fill the market and we have to pick mustard greens for our own market It'll be the first time that we're doing our own market so i'm excited it's finally time for us to push out some of this produce and we get to see it go into the hands of whoever is getting it so but exciting day, exciting times, a lot to do. We're going to have to load this up, go home and clean it. Still, we usually just take the beans home and do a quick rinse in the wagon or inside the buckets with water hose, a little bit of water, throw some water on them, 
wash the dirt and old leaves off of them they're pretty good for the most part when they come out of this field where we've let the weeds grow a little bit higher the beans actually don't get as dirty as what they would otherwise there's no mud splashing up when it rains to cover the bottoms of the beans and we're getting a double crop when we plant beans in here we're getting the fruit of the beans yes but we're also getting nitrogen for our corn nitrogen for our tomatoes nitrogen for whatever else goes in behind them and it works out pretty well we didn't record washing the beans this time the battery was low we didn't have a spare one around so we had to charge some batteries and we're right back at it now that we have the beans washed off and cleaned and some of the other stuff it's pretty exciting now we're going to get in here and pick out some mustard greens and block four that way we got mustard greens for the garden we picked out quite a few of these yesterday i think we picked out 10 bunches yesterday and there's plenty more to go around we're going to pick out three or four bunches for us today that way we have them at our market by the garden so we're going to start setting dates for markets here soon which is pretty awesome we're going to try out this garden market see how well we do today people have been driving by watching us grow this all year here live in mcdowell county west virginia landgraf west virginia of mcdowell county you guys been coming along for the journey you guys got to watch us seed these mustard in here with the push seeder you got to watch us do this whole field we planted this whole field right before your eyes in the course of 53 videos or so i think it's about 53 videos where we did all this and they are all available if you go check out the youtube channel you can see how all this come about so browse around on the channel guys see what else is on there available to you we do other stuff we do hiking and kayaking and fishing we do all kinds of little adventure type stuff you know we like to have some fun we're going to take out some peppers now which is pretty cool peppers are starting to produce a little bit and we need to pick out some green tomatoes some green thomas aiders tomatoes 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 is there any other names for them for the maters we got maters fried green maters guys fried green tomatoes people love those things have you guys ever heard of tomato gravy that's another one you're going to have to think about tomato gravy there are plenty of recipes i'm not going to provide any on this video but i will probably pop up a video of making some tomato gravy sometime in the future pretty excited about all these tomatoes because we're going to start dehydrating them we're going to start canning them we're going to start making sauces we're going to start selling them we're going to do a lot with tomatoes this year i'm pretty excited we didn't do much with tomatoes last year and the mcdowell county youth uh, youth growers association yeah those guys they're here today this is them right here and i'm not sure what my camera is doing it's kind of going nuts zooming in and out not really sure how to fix that it's an editing problem so you'll just have to look over the unfocused zooming in and out of my malfunctioning equipment but it's okay because i'm talking over the video you can see what's going on you kicking it with me we rocking it we doing the dang thing and we're making things happen you can see that beautiful sky in the background all those really weedy area of crops there's lots of crops in here guys i know it looks like a big mess but we pull stuff out of here every day lots of stuff and now it's time to put up our tent the first thing we do is lock our corners and then raise it up to the first tier table out tablecloth tomatoes on table peppers on table goes pretty smooth when we put up these markets we've done this for a while marketing not always produce we've done markets with other things we used to make coal figurines and do markets we make soaps 
which is pretty awesome. Fee taught me how to make soap, guys. We're going to do some soap videos later in the year. So you'll have to stay tuned when the season winds down and we run out of soap that we've made. We're going to make some more soap and take you guys along. We got our scales out today, weighing out some bean baskets, selling those guys by the pound or by the bucket, whatever, whatever you like. We got some squash in there today and some zucchini. I think I'm going to come in and tell you guys about everything that we got growing on this table today. So I'm not going to be repetitive because I did do a live video at some point in the day. So you'll probably get to hear all of this again, but get to see it live. But it's time now to do a little bit of weed eating. I need to cut out all of this grass where this block is right here. That way we can take out that whole block of contender beans. That's going to open up a space that is 100 feet long. Let's see. We got eight. 100 feet long by 24 feet wide we're gonna have a, a nice little space here to put some more beans in which is pretty awesome I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out with this weed eater if it stops clogging up on me breaking my twine off chop chop with the grass chop chop with the grass still a beautiful day guys we've been getting some nice weather we haven't had to water a whole lot this year or really any except for the one time we had the drought that killed out our cucumbers i'm still sad about that um we got cucumbers coming in though the cucumber drought of 2020, the cucumber drought of 2020 is what we're going to call that week it was a rough week indeed we started out with the irrigation and then we were in need of a waterfall. The waterfall dried up. We had to get a water pump. The water pump didn't work, so we had to get a water tank. We got a water tank and we watered the garden. And then guess what? After five days of all of that BS, it rained and rained and rained almost every day. So, it's still And it's still raining. It's, it's raining, raining today, guys. I'm not telling you what today is. I don't want to ruin it. I'm a little bit behind on editing, but weeks later it is raining still out there we're at home editing videos today editing these videos and doing some canning at home we've already been through this this is a couple weeks old now but it's okay because it's new to you guys and you can check out what we're doing i know what's going to happen in this i think maybe sometimes it's a surprise to me when i go back and look at the video i'm trying to edit over the video but it's all good because i know what happened we cut the grass out and we're going to plant some more beans i know what's going to happen we're going to plant some more beans here i'm not going to elaborate on that because i really don't remember what happened after that we're just going to have to find out when i get to the video and that i'm editing over it i kind of get to relive it and tell you guys what happened in there but um, I love watching how these time lapses just transform the land when you're doing something like cutting grass. What is going on guys? Today is Saturday, August the 8th of 2020. And we're down here in Landgraf today. Today we decided to set up a roadside market with some of our vegetables and produce. And this is the second time that we harvested for one of the youth programs in McDowell County. They do uh, roadside markets throughout McDowell County and other places, but this is what we got down in here today. We have some yellow squash, a few green tomatoes. We have some contender bush beans, a few bell peppers, some gypsy and Marconi peppers. We have a few zucchini, and in the cooler we have collards and bunches of mustard greens. Now, yesterday we picked out over 200 zucchini, one harvest. We had over 65 yellow squash. We had 54 pounds of green beans that we picked out yesterday. There were 15 bunches of collards that come out of Sky's garden and three cabbages that come out of his personal garden. And I also come in yesterday and picked out 10 bunches of 
mustard greens. Now we have a lot coming on. What I'm doing today down here in the field, I'm trying to get the first block ready. We're going to replant contender beans in there, but first I have to go in and cut all the vegetation off of that area. We're going to bring the tractor in and turn it over with discs, and then we're going to replant it with contender bush beans. That's a 45 day bean, so we'll have another crop in there before the end of the year, which is pretty awesome. Sky and Marshall are actually up in those, the upper part of the farm and the field's doing some work right now, planting some other things, doing some weeding and whatnot. We had to take the tire off of the tractor yesterday because we had a little bit of a flat and some issues going on, but keep rocking it with us and we're gonna jump back into cutting some of this grass back into the grass cutting got to get this grass removed guys we just come in and picked out all of those contender beans i'm going to replant this area with some more beans hopefully get another crop before it's time to call it a year we've had a great year so far still got a lot of great year coming i'm pretty excited because uh corn will be hitting sometime within the next week to 10 days and the corn is sweet guys it's a sweet sweet ill of corn I'm not going to be releasing any names of our corn because it is one of the sweetest corns that you're ever, ever going to try if you're from here mcdowell county West Virginia. There's not many people that's growing corn unless you're growing it in your own personal garden. And we've chose a pretty good variety of corn. It's a plant. It's really good sweet corn. Pretty excited about that. But we need to get this grass out. So I'm going to keep talking about grass until we get the grass out. You can watch the time lapse though. So now we're going to cut around some of the peppers. We've been doing this all year. We have bell peppers in here, Marconi peppers, Keystone peppers, and Gypsy peppers. The Gypsy peppers aren't doing the best compared to the bell peppers and the Keystone and Marconi peppers. Keystone and Marconi and the bell peppers, the ones that we started from seed, and the gypsy peppers they were kind of root bound when we put them into the ground there's not a lot that you can do about that we tore the roots to promote root growth but they're still very small plants it seems like they're having some trouble now i'm going to going to clean up in between the blue lake bush beans this is a 55 day bean so we'll be picking these beans out next week right behind those contenders guys i'm going to try to clean up in between the rows looks like felicia is having some customers up there at our little market stand it's pretty awesome we got our first market stand out today guys and it feels good it feels so good to put that produce on the table and be seeing it go starting to see some of our hard work return some of the fruits of those labors we've been having the fruits of those labors returned all year with canning and preserving and eating our own food out of the garden which is pretty awesome we got to have the satisfaction of putting this garden in this year it's a pretty big thing to do it's a good year to put in a garden one of the best years that i've seen to put in a garden despite what else is going on in the world it's been one of the best years for farming and gardening we've had a wonderful time the rest of the world seems like it's going crazy everything is fine in the garden there's plenty of plants to take care of and we were supposed to stay in the garden anyway we would have been all right so everything is all good little market stand looks nice squash are always a good thing to 
have at our market stands. People love the yellow squash. I don't think that I'm going to grow the crookneck squash again next year, but you can listen to me talk so live. Check it out, guys. It's a beautiful day out here today. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's a little bit warm out here. I've been cutting grass. Felicia's been doing a market over there. Been having people stop in, chat with us. We are practicing social distancing and mask wearing at the table. I don't even go to the table. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm going to stay out here by myself. Felicia can wear a mask at the table. But um, I'm out here cutting grass. We got all of these contender beans pulled out this morning. Sky and Marshall, Felicia and myself pulled all these beans up. And I've been coming through cutting the grass out so we can get it tilled up and replanted hopefully tomorrow. Look what we're going to have next week, guys. We're going to have Blue Lake Bush Bean. Those will be ready next week. And I'm so excited because we'll have corn next week. There should be corn ready at the markets next week, guys. I know you're not going to see this video next week. <laughs> but I'm doing the best I can. We're in the field all day. Cooking all day. Going home and canning all night. Trying to edit videos in between. Still maintain the garden. Control the pests. Make sure we don't go into drought. We did have some drought hit. We had some pests hit. And guess what, guys? We're going to have tomatoes next week. We're going to have tomatoes at the market next week. We did pull some green tomatoes today, though. We pulled out a bunch of green tomatoes today. Some fried green tomatoes. There's a bunch of cherry tomatoes getting ripe right now on the vine. This thing is loaded, this fence here. This is my vine wall of cherry tomatoes. Right here. There's not any ripe ones in there right now because we've been pulling them off and eating them. Um, Felicia sold out of greens up there, so I'm going to pick a few more bunches of greens. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's our corn. And this field right there behind us, that corn's not going to be ready this week, guys. Not that corn, but some more corn. We almost sold out a yellow squash today. And I'm in here checking out. Looks like there's a few yellow squash in here. I'll probably pull a couple of those on the way back up. Just to set them out on the table, because I don't want to run out of anything. And we'll take them home and cook them if we don't sell them today. But, um, check it, look at these squash heels. Check at those. Look at, check at those. Pretty awesome. Look, there's a double. That's a double squash there. That's pretty cool. And these sunflowers, guys. Check out these sunflowers. They are officially taller than hobbits. Taller than me. Look at that. Yes, sir. Those are going to be some beautiful, beautiful uh, sunflowers there. People keep driving by distracting me. Um, also, check this out. We've been picking out mustard greens. These are mustard greens right here. These guys right here. We got six rows of those. We've been picking those out. And I've been trying to clean up some of this kale down through here. We've got some beautiful kale plants and some collard plants. I might take a couple bunches of collards back up too. Because we have to pull some of these bottom leaves. And what we do with those... I'll just take out the bottom leaves, and these don't look too bad. We're going to take those out, and take those up there in a bunch to sell. We usually take these out. That one's got more damage than a little bit. That one does too. We're just going to take off all these damaged leaves those bugs got and give this plant a chance to regenerate even though the bugs got in here guys it's not going to matter because this is going to make new leaves so now that the grass is cut i'm going to have a quick little lunch break and i'm going to jump back into these fields there's still a ton of stuff that i need to get accomplished a ton of stuff i need to get done a little bit more grass on the top side that needs cut so I'm going to do a little bit of cutting and a whole lot of walking I'm going to take you guys down through 
the tomatoes you can watch me trellis these tomatoes because they are at a height that they need another line of trellis and I'm going to show you how I do it I take the line all the way down both sides and then I tie the line to each pole simple as that boom sandwich the tomato in the middle and make a tomato wall that's what I'm doing right now live action right in front of your faces tying tomatoes that's what we do beautiful tomato jungle beautiful beautiful tomato jungles I'm gonna do a couple more trellises today pull a little bit of weeds along the way and that's how I stretch that line all the way down the front side and back up the back side around the tomatoes Marshall has come by and he's going to help me trellis some of these tomatoes which is pretty awesome we were picking out a bunch of beans and doing a bunch of stuff earlier today I think they were checking some of the corn Marshall and Sky when they left out from here they were checking in on some of that corn seeing how that was doing so pretty exciting stuff guys markets are getting ready to kick in full swing you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of field work you're going to be seeing a lot of harvest work you're going to be seeing a lot of market stuff and it's going to be tricky trying to figure out what i'm going to talk about through those videos we're really going to have to speed those up because those are going to be some long sitting at the market type stuff we can have time to talk about some of the accomplishments that we made this year and maybe about some of the changes that we would like to see happen for next year we'll figure out something to talk about i'll figure out some way to bring you guys along with a day in the life of fee and jay because we do all kinds of lively type stuff and we will talk about some of it anyway do a little bit more of this tomato trellising and what we have here are german johnson's and mr stripey's i found an ox heart tomato in here i'm not sure how it got in there but it there is one in there and the tomatoes really do look like a heart guys that's pretty awesome and there's some exciting stuff coming up in the future for these tomatoes there's gonna be tomato sauces and dried tomatoes and all kinds of stuff not even sure what we're gonna have some yellowish type sauces we're gonna do some stuff in the kitchen with tomatoes right now we're gonna load up the water pump that had the water pump failure we're gonna take it to Skye's house and do some mechanical type stuff so that's gonna be cool it'll go in the mechanical folder get another mechanical video under air belts it's pretty awesome but it's been a long day it's quite a bit of heat out here today got a lot of grass cut today got our first market out today got a lot of beans picked today we got a lot accomplished today and i'm pretty excited with those results We've got some beautiful shots of the sky and those clouds now you can watch us break down our market table all the produce there doesn't look like there's a whole lot left i know i had to go back into the field and get more squash mustard greens and more green tomatoes because those things just flew off the table and just like that quick as you've seen us come you're going to see us go packing this market up and we're getting out of here great day excited 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 guys keep up what we got going on because there is a lot going on pretty exciting stuff i'm gonna go ahead and sneak in a subliminal for all of you guys that know that these videos are a little bit behind i'm gonna let you know that this is one of the markets that's going on tomorrow this video will come out tomorrow so if you see this video you're going to get this subliminal advertisement that i have put forth on the screen so it's exciting 
we have corn at the market tomorrow and you'll have to wait for that video to come out sometime in the future because i'm three weeks behind on editing guys i am three weeks behind on editing and you'll have to check out that market when the time comes for that market but now is not the time for that market we're going to take that water pump to skies and drop it off and there's someone that we are delivering green beans to so we are going to take a ride through those beautiful mountains that's the beautiful burke mountain of mcdowell county west virginia look how beautiful that drive is so lovely the drive lovely views lovely trees on the mountainside the road that's what we got right there very cool guys I'm glad you all have been taking this journey with us all year. I know it's been hard for me to find something to talk about for the past 30 minutes. So I hope if any of you are still listening that you're not tired of me yet. So we got a lot more to come. A lot of exciting things to go down. And that's it, guys. Thank you for checking us out. You for checking out the youtube channel i hope you enjoyed the video i hope there was some information in there somewhere even if you were seeing how we grow things if you enjoyed the video hit the like down below subscribe to our channel for other videos if you want to see how we put this garden together and you can hit the notification bell for updates on future videos look at that farm stand and that felicia right there that was a handsome looking farm stand for our first farmer's market guys come on that's a handsome looking little farm stand. It's only one little table, but the next one will be better. You'll see. You're going to see. Keep sticking with us and keep rocking it with us. Until next time. Can you dig it?